Hello and welcome to Dressmaking Amor. Today we're going to be making this elegant, slim fit maxi dress. Made from stretchy knit fabric, this era dress is beautiful and comfortable. The link to this pattern that we're going to be using, called era, is in the description below this video, so check it out and sew along. For this dress, you will need 2 yards or 180 centimeters of knit fabric, glass head pins, matching thread, scissors, the pattern, and I'll be using a 4 thread serger and a regular sewing machine. For this era dress, I'm using a Hachi brushed knit fabric. You'll need a two-way stretch knit fabric with elastane, such as a rib knit, brushed poly, or a French terry fabric. There's more information about the needed fabric in the instructional ebook that comes along with your pattern, which is where you're also going to find the pattern printing and cutting instructions, as well as the fabric cutting and layout guide. Before we get started, please click that like button down below and subscribe for more dressmaking videos. Let's begin. Here are the pattern pieces that we'll need. The front, back, front lining, back lining. And in the ebook you'll be able to see exactly how to cut out your pieces. We'll start with the shoulder seams. Place the front and back pieces right sides together, pin and sew the shoulder seams of the dress and the lining. Press the shoulder seams with the dress and the lining's seam allowances facing in opposite directions. This way our shoulder seams won't be bulky. Pin the lining to the dress at the neckline, matching the shoulder seams and the centers of the back and the front neckline. Sew the neckline. Fold the seam allowances towards the lining and understitch the lining 2mm from the edge. Understitching will prevent the lining from rolling towards the outside. Press the neckline. Cool it down before you move your piece so that all the waviness will be gone. We're going to use the burrito method for the armhole. We actually have a detailed tutorial on this and the link is up in the top right corner of the video. Roll the armhole of one side of the dress towards the opposite shoulder. Open up the opposite shoulder and pin over the rolled shoulder. The rolled shoulder will be inside the opposite one. Pin the whole armhole over our rolled burrito. Sew so using a 4 thread serger or a narrow zigzag stitch. Turn it out. Press and cool the armhole to get rid of any waviness that may appear after sewing. and repeat for the second armhole.
Place the front and back of the dress right sides together and pin the side seam of the lining and the dress ending at the slit marks. Sew the side seam up to the slit opening. Serge the lining hem. Now we'll attach the lining to the dress at the side seam. Fold the lining at the armhole seam matching the side seam of the dress and lining and pin. Sew the side seams together stopping 2.5 cm from the lining hem. Surge the slit edge and the hem edge. Mark the corner of the slit 7.5 cm above the opening and 2.5 cm right below it. Sew this area. Press the side seams. Fold the surged edge of the slit in towards the wrong side about 8mm, pin and press. Cool it down so that our slit will be straight. Top stitch the slit opening 5mm from the edge, making sharp corners at the top of the slit. And of course, do the same to both slits. Fold 1.5 cm or more of the surged hem edge, pin and press. Then top stitch it in place. and give your piece a finishing press, cooling it down to give it a professional finish, and we are done with our beautiful Ira dress. Nobody is going to believe that you made this dress yourself. Wear your handmade dress proudly and show off your work. Get this sewing pattern at the link in the description below this video, and happy sewing!